Hello everybody and welcome to Alice Mare. Interesting little uh, RPG maker game. It's supposed to be a fairy tale storybook-esque with a smidgy bitty bit of horror and some puzzles and stuff. And Well, it sounds interesting and it has good music. And uh, it's uh, translated and edited over by someone who does a lot of other RPG maker games I like. So it's promising to me. Uh, let's get right into it. The ant told me that the frog is bad. The frog told me that the cat is bad. The cat told me no, the rabbit is worst of them all. So I... What did you do? Oh, I like this music. So that's roughly how life will be for you here. Uh, is that a guy or a girl? I'm going to go with a guy wearing a cool coat. If you don't understand, there's a note in your room that explains it all again. I'll probably need that note. No one will ask anything of you here. There are a few things to keep, too, but it should be a peaceful life. In addition, here. I received a notebook. Your own personal notebook. I am going to doodle in that so bad. Use it however you like, for sad or for happy times. Just write down any feelings you have and give it to me, would you? <laughs> but some children just like to doodle in it. <coughs> I would totally be in there. Actually, no. When I was a kid, I wrote really, really weird, confusing, and sad poetry in my notebooks. Yeah, it was weird. And I also recorded my dreams. It was bad. That's fine by me, too, and wrote horrible songs. Now, there's still time before dinner. You should greet the other children. Leave and go straight to left and you'll find your room. So, that's really convenient. Thank you. They're all good children and may not be immediate per se, but uh, you'll get along, I'm sure. Maybe it is a woman. No, no, stick to it being a man. Don't confuse yourself. Uh, and myself, just call me teacher. I look forward to having you here, Alan. Woo! I'm Alan! Variety of books. Okay. Variety of books. Teacher likes his books. It's more varieties. Come on. A variety of books. Give me something more. He just likes a variety of books. I want to sleep in the teacher's bed. Let me in. Eh? This one is extra fidgety. There we go. No, I can't sleep in the teacher's bed. Psh, what kind of game is this? Teacher, I can't sleep in your bed. <laughs> that is actually my concern. I can't sleep in your bed. What's going on? Tell me any of your concerns, and I'll do whatever I can. I'm glad to have you here. You keep winking at me, but that doesn't solve my problem. Basic controls. Movement, uh, choice. Arrow keys or the numpad. Confirm, talk, check. Z, enter, space. Uh, menu. X, escape, and backspace. Reset, return to title, F12. Be careful, there's no confirmation for resetting. Okay. Oh, I have to use in order to actually go through things. Ah, uh, this is the way to the other things, but I want to explore. It's locked. I feel like someone is intentionally trying to stunt my curity. curiosity. Ah, dining room. Let's go get some grub. This is, uh... Are there a lot of kids here, I'm gonna guess? Or maybe there's supposed to be lots of kids? I don't know where we are. That's warm. I like warm things. That's locked. Yeah, definitely stunting my curiosity. And I need to... I keep forgetting that I need to actually use the doors. I'm so used to just being able to walk through. Ooh, telephone. Okay, I'm gonna call up people. Hi! No. Nobody. Fear never answers my calls. Actually, no. My sister never answers my calls. I don't really call Fear. Well, I guess I call her on Skype, but she does tend to not pay any attention to those. Ooh. Are those pages on the ground? No. They look like they should be. A butterfly specimen. Huh. All kinds of books. Mess of books. Mess of books. Uh... I'm gonna guess this is like a storage room of some kind. Um, this is the library. Well, the library is really neat. Okay, uh, let's get a candle. Okay. I haven't seen any prompts for any puzzles or anything, but I'm just trying to familiarize myself with things. And there are just loads of books, and I want to stay here, but I can't. 
because it's the wrong side of the table. Uh, what are you? You are a door in a lone hallway. Room 101. That's really suspicious. And it's locked. You're gonna be important, I get the feeling. I... did I? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Okay, whose room is this? Anyway, <laughs> Stella. <laughs> Ignore that. Hello, Stella! <gasps> you have a piano. Can I play it? No. I am so good at this game! Uh, do's and don'ts. Avoid leaving your rooms as much as possible, except during free time. Potty breaks are okay. Don't take things from other rooms. Aww. But I'm gonna break in that rule all the time. Don't break anything if you do tell teacher. Don't forget, force your way into locked rooms. Don't hit other people. Uh, tell the teacher about anything that troubles you or that you want. At the very bottom, there is a drawing of some kind of zebra. Oh, you draw a little zebra? Zebras are pretty cool. I like them. You know, there's not zebras with identical stripes. They're all different. I like the way you talk, and you have a very pretty dress. Oh! That's odd that you can speak. Probably because you don't really feel like you're alive. Alan, is it? I'm Stella. <sighs> Stella, talk to me. Eh? Yes, I hate living people. But the people here don't really feel that way. And among them all, you feel the least alive. Hmm? Maybe not quite right. Something about you is different. Hey, that's a compliment, all right? I like you, Stella. You're different. Meh. I can understand your feelings, too. Okay, whose room is this? Joshua. Yo, Joshua, what you got? A strange design. I saw that in another room. Variety of books. You like a variety of books, too? I like a variety of books. I can't get in your clothing. Ah, uh, do's and don'ts. Uh, the exact same thing, but... I have a little lion! Are you proud, sir? Sup? My name's Brown, not Joshua. Or, wait, was it Marcus? Might have been Nicole. Alan, <laughs> Or maybe it was Helen. Oh well, nice to meet ya. My name? It's John. Like, the John Doe type. No, I'm pretty sure your name's Joshua. Although I guess you could go by John if you want. Man, I'm starving. Saves teacher makes all the food around here. It's hella tasty. Nah, that can't be right. There are loads of frogs out in the garden here. Spiders and slugs too. Lots of critters. Teacher doesn't pay much attention, so I like quietly putting them on his shoulder and stuff. Aw, he's a space case and you go messing with him. Alright, see you later, Joshua. And who else are we going to check on? I don't know. What is your name? You might be confused. Chelsea. You like teddy bears. I like teddy bears too. They're pretty freaking cute. I also have loads of stuffed animals. Uh, let's see. What are you? Are you a teddy bear? No, you're a cat. Huh. And um, more dots. I'm going to guess that we're in a special place. Uh, um, uh, I'm Chelsea. N nice to meet you. Chelsea, I'm gonna make you talk to me. We're gonna communicate. It's nothing. Nothing. Eh. Eh. Um. It's nothing. Please stop talking to me. Please. Ah. Okay. Bye bye. Just wanna say hello. Letty and Rick. Wait, what? Yeah, Letty and Rick. Uh, I'm gonna guess you're Letty. Variety of books. Because Rick sounds like a guy name and you look like a girl sprite. Uh, don't hit other people. And what are you? Some kind of dove. Um, doves. Maybe they're. I don't know. They're probably just siblings. You are a girl. <gasps> wow! I've never seen you before. Oh, you're the one the teacher mentioned. Call me Letty. I was right. This is Rick, but he's not here right now. He's a very nice boy. 
and you're Alan! I'd be very, really, really, really happy if we could play. Nice to know you. <laughs> you seem a little too nice. <laughs> Let's talk again later, okay? I'm glad to meet you. You sound so sincere. I don't think I like Letty. Ow, my jaw. I, I fiddled with lots of my clothing. Bella, please stop needing my bed. That's what I usually do when I go in my closet. Do's and don'ts. Do I have anything special? There's a drawing of some kind of rabbit. Huh. Ah, ba bum bun Warm. Oh, my bed's comfy. But I guess I should keep exploring. Uh. Eh, heh. Yeah! You don't really need to go. Did I make an excuse saying I needed to go to the bathroom? I mean... I know it says potty breaks are okay, but I didn't think I needed to. See, I didn't use that time and it let me go through. And that time too. But, uh, maybe the side ones don't count? Okay, teach. Because there's nothing else I can do. Please, please give me a directive. Please, please open some locked doors. You've introduced yourself. How did it go? I think it went fairly well, I'd say. I see. I'm relieved you could carry some conversation with them. Is that usually an issue? We were just in time for dinner. Let's go to the dining room. I am not going to have any consistent voices. But I'm gonna make them. I am going to make them. Or, kind of. I'm really bad at it. Now, what do you say? Thanks for the meal, teacher! That was my group children voices. Alright, return to your rooms and get ready to go to bed. I don't want to deal with any of you runs. You can go to each other's rooms and talk, but don't go to the second floor. Dismissed! Well, I know I'm going. You haven't been here long, but you seem used to things already. It's pretty calm. How are your memories doing? Oh, I'm having memory problems. That, uh... That's good. I see. Well, no, don't just... Don't push yourself to remember. Just take it nice and slow. I'm probably gonna go on, like, some mental trip trying to remember my past. I'm sure you'll remember everything in time. With a winky face back there. Say, do you want anything? I'll buy you whatever I can afford. Um, I'm pretty good unless you could buy me keys to the doors that are locked. Ah, uh, well, that I can't give you. It's not something you can buy. Sorry, I'll keep that in mind. I think I was probably asking for my memories back. Well, I'll buy you some new books. I do like books. I'd be okay with that. You love to read, don't you, Alan? I'm impressed by how many words you couldn't understand already. Teacher's not so smart. I don't really get difficult things. Oh, it's nothing. Winky face. Alan, if I told you there was a world unlike our world, would you believe me? Probably. No, it's just a fairy tale. Oh, well, way to spoil a kid's hope. But you should... Should you be invited to such a world, I'd advise against opening that door. Okay, so, when I go to the other world, open that door, and I need to go upstairs after I leave this guy. Alright, get to your room. I need to lock up too. Go to bed quick. And can I get in there now? No. Meh. See that? Uh, can I go? No. Teacher! You're not in here. Can I read what you were reading? Maybe if I could get on the right pixel. All kinds of contact info is written here. Uh, could I get any phone numbers? I want to call people. I want to run up the phone bill. I'm going to be so bad. I'm such a bad kid. Actually, let's talk to people. Then I'll break the rules. I like you, so open up. Hi! Quite a while ago, I said you felt the least alive out of anyone. That wasn't quite a while. But actually, teacher seems about equally devoid of life. Perhaps it's his lack of cleanliness? His hair is so unkempt. And it is a guy. Got it. It's even longer than mine. <laughs> oh, you're adorable. I told him that once, and he made a face like he'd eaten a grapefruit. 
Strange voices, not interested. Eh. Where do I let go? I have this exact same dialogue. And it's still a zebra. Yeah, you're still a zebra, and I still can't. Wait, that is me playing the piano. I'm good. Listen to me go. Yeah. I have no sense of tone. I can't sleep in your bed. Dang it. At least I verified that. <laughs> 